Everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. I'm lucky. Here we are. Once again, just gaming on. We've got more Dragon's Dogma 2. <clears throat> so, last episode, we made it to the capital city. We explored all over the place. Went to every merchant. Checked them all out. Now, we broke into the castle. Found some proof that the queen, regent, Desis, or Disa, Disa? Disa? I can't remember. Anyways, she's got some kind of plot going on. We ran into her son, who doesn't want any part of it. And he covered for us while we escaped. So now we've escaped, and let's get back into it and see what the hell's going on here and what we're going to do about it. Politics are no concern of mine. We've got to meet <clears throat> Brant over here, I thought. But at nighttime, I guess. So also, <clears throat> those items that I have been unable to locate, it says that they were installed. It says eight items have been installed, and I did have the Rift Crystals. So, that's the tavern. Let's go to the inn and check our storage one more time here. And stay the night. And if that doesn't work, then we'll just go meet Brant. Uh -huh. There's something written here. Yeah, it's the same Let's tavern. Let's have a look, then. The inn's up there. This village is pretty cool. I like that stack. I was going to say vibrant, but it's not exactly vibrant. You know, it's not hustling and bustling. There's like enough here to keep you entertained and check out. It doesn't feel crowded or like it's hard to figure out. Huh. Looks like a weapons store down there. We're going to check that out right after this. I didn't even notice that before. What about... Well met. You are come to shack it. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospital. I've got nothing. But he in all Vernworth. We must rest. Though oh, I actually wanted to rest till nightfall. But I shouldn't have spent two grand on it. I feel bad now, but oh man. Muad'Dib. The pawn has returned beyond the rift. Oh, nice. He defeated a Cyclops. Good job. That a boy. He drew mistrustful stares wherever he went. Hmm. Lupine Bow. From Sid Ryder. That's cool, man. A bow wrapped in wolf pelts. It can withstand hard use in the wilderness with minimal upkeep. So pretty basic, right? But that's pretty cool, man. We're gonna put you on our favorites, Sid. You're awesome. Then we're gonna make sure we give somebody a nice lost. thing was a next. Bloodthirsty one, ready to charge into battle, <laughs> even a glimpse of a monster's tail. Oh, really? Now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. Off we go then. Ready All right. to forge on? Well, I missed some of the stuff that we got, but apparently liquid vim was part of it. Liquid vim, by the way, guys, is awesome. It's one of my favorite items. Well, mate, you will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the... F Stops you from losing stamina for a short period of time. Okay, well. Foremost Whatever. hospitality in all Vernworth. Okay, let's go meet him at the end. Much obliged. Da -da 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 -da. Parkour. Welcome. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? No. No, I want to come out here and meet Brant. He's not here yet. So we're going to pass the time till night time. I've had it up to here with you. I'm sorry, that was my bad. Look at that, she was coming around here to whoop my ass. Oh, now I'm spilling drinks. God, I'm horrible. Welcome to the stop. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Let's Shall pass the time. You? Come back anytime. Welcome. Thought it was... 
Thought I'd rest until night time. What's going on here? Let's pass a little more time. Not a chance. Welcome to the Weeserb. All manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup? No. Can you make it night? Come back any time. It's darker. So my sister, there he is. Welcome to the Star Drop. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to? We're gonna make it even darker. Always Brands. a pleasure. Fancy seeing you here, Captain Brandt. Greetings, Your Majesty. Have you a moment to speak? I do. Lead the way. I wonder what his overall goal is. Is it really just to help us? Hard for me to believe that, really. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. Tell me if monsters are calling. Citizenry, I've called upon my soldiers to call monsters that plague the land. I dare say, it would be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks unaided. What say you? Might I ask for your cooperation in this matter? I thank yeah. you. Your Majesty, there are three locales that I've seen significant trouble of late. The first is Trevo Mine, to the northwest. We've had reports of goblins swarming in great numbers. Next is Half Village, west of Burnworth. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched to call an infestation of Saurians. Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. They were last seen crossing the second bridge on the eastern edge of Vermin. They're gonna be hard to find. They're, mo they're mobile. Off we go then. There are beasts to be slain. <clears throat> okay, so like it was explained in the beginning, Off we probably want to do one quest so at a time. We probably moon, don't want to go out Get there. to the bottom of things sooner or later. Sorry, there's a mosquito. Probably don't want to grab a couple of quests at once because we probably run out of time to do them or something will happen and it'll change. So we're gonna do them one at a time, which is the opposite of Dragon's Dog the Dark Arisen, where I would take on a handful of quests, now, dozens of quests at a time, boys. and just bang them out as I was out so in the great wide open. A weapon shop, I wanted to look at that really quick. Sorry, I get distracted when I'm talking. Uh, where are we at? Going up here, and it was right below the actual inn. Of course, it's nighttime, we're not gonna <clears throat> go out right now. We'll have to wait till daytime. Peddler's Ledger. Heard some people in the tavern talking about a shop over the rest of town. A scrap store, they called it. Doesn't sound like much, but apparently you can have forgeries made there. Reckon that grimoire I lost all that coin on was one of them. Mayhap I could earn it back by making some forgeries of my own and selling them off to collectors. So that sounds like the Black Cat store, like in Dragon's Dog with Dark Arisen. There was There's a guy a who made forgeries, and his store was called Perhaps the Black Cat. To to wait they sold some really cool stuff. Greet. Here we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is aught I may assist you with, simply say the word. Have you found any of the items we discussed, perchance? Huh. Man, do I turn in eight of them right now? No, I'm going to wait. <clears throat> oh, well it tells me right here. So eight will give me a ring of vehemence. The wearer's attacks are more likely to stagger and knock down foes. That's cool, ring of triumph. Imbue with power slightly boosts maximum stealth, stamina, and the amount of weight you can carry. That's really cool. Dousing spikes, daggers with hilts, meant to recall snakes on the hunt. They emit a glow whenever treasure is near. <gasps> I need 30. Okay, we're not gonna look at the rest, we're gonna look at this one. <clears throat> 220, you don't, so you don't have to get all two, what was it, 150? You only have to get 220. A ring bearing a mysterious power that invigorates the spirit, slightly boosts discipline gained from defeating foes. So, <clears throat> it earns us more discipline points. Those are some really cool rewards. So we've got some good 
discipline points right now, 1,500. Oh, cool. We can get a couple different ones now. We can get Warrior. We can get Sorcerer. Isn't that cool? Look at that. Huh. Warrior and Fighter are different, huh? Warriors, great swords and hammers. Here you go. This is the class right here. The big ding dong sword. All right. We'll get to that later, guys. For sure. Right now, we're thiefing it up. Forgive me. But you see, as we currently have no archer staves or great swords on hand, we are unable to outfit new members. And we cannot simply purchase more, as the delivery of arms intended for the local armory and other guilds in this domain was plundered by gob. So regrettably, I cannot assist you, unless you were to procure a weapon yourself, that is. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? So he can't change my vocation without me having a weapon for that vocation. Okay, well that's cool. And Kindle Blades seem kind of cool, but I get that buff anyways. Helm Splitter was always nice. We're gonna go with that. Oh, yeah, we'll equip it to X. Oh, cool, you can even use X in battle. That's sick, before X was always just jump. You couldn't use it in battle. <clears throat> Nice. He can also change, but we're not going to because we don't have the weapons for him to change into either of those. He really doesn't have very many skills, honestly. We need to get him some skills here. So let's go with... I mean, Frigger. Frigger's really cool. Whoops. <clears throat> Paladin conjures a cluster of magical energies that blocks up to three attacks from targets. Yeah, we'll give him that. For sure. We'll give him the lightning too. I mean, that way he's got full elemental capabilities. What Certain vocations say? are unavailable at present, save to applicants who already possess the requisite equipment. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? So that's really interesting. So you gotta have the weapons to unlock that. Methinks Roderick will be able to tell you aught of the stolen shipment. Okay. He runs the local armory, and we purchase almost all of our stock from him. Okay. We've May fortune smile once. upon you, sir. We shall have to scour high and low. I scoured behind him for a ring of exultion. Oh, that's cool. There's an actual item in there. You should love games that just let you steal. It's like, no, don't worry about me. Just looking at it for a long time. Ring of Exaltation. A ring imbued with power slightly boosts, boosts maximum health. Also, I had two of those. You're advised to speak with the local armorer. Well. Can we get this camera out of our back of our head? There's a chest right there. Gosh, oh, you had it. Why didn't you reach up and grab it? Come on now. You're, you're in a video game. You can front flip up there, but you couldn't grab that other spot. Get out of here. Harsbud, Roborant. Roborant. <laughs> all the townsfolk are probably like, who the hell? This lady's jumping all over. Metal boobs running around here. <clears throat> Sorry, I was confused about where I was. Ooh, 
Run away! Do I have the right quest active here? Because that sure looks like it's taking me back to Captain Brant. Yeah. Yeah, monster calling is what we want to deal with here. Call the goblins, aid the soldiers, find the soldiers. Yeah, I had the wrong one. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, we'll deal with the blacksmith Roderick later. Right now, we just need to sleep. Look, master, a treasure chest. We shall have to find a way to reach it. Welcome to Bjorn's, and quality is what you need if you want to survive. Many thanks. Yeah, I appreciate Roderick. the. Not Bjorn. Oi, friend. Klaus sent Here word is. that you've agreed to rescue some of my pilfered equipment. I'd be great. Fair warning. Goblins are behind these ox cart raids, I've since learned. No doubt they're hoarding from the tell of it. Their lair lies somewhere along the western road. Pray do be careful. If all were to go awry, it would weigh heavily on my heart. Losing my wares for good would make me sore. But no sack of gold could compare to a fellow life, eh? <laughs> it's interesting they have two armors right next to each other, this town. Might as well enhance it. Oof. I still like spending money on throwaway items, though. So the marcher stuff, we're going to sell that, and that'll really help us lighten our load. Because we can get this stuff anytime. Basically. Let's get rid of those rotten scrags. I had enough of that. Ugh. Explorer's camp, we want to keep... Still don't know what this thing does. I know our friend gave us that. But, I, but we can't use it anyways, so. By the time we do get around to change our vocation, we're gonna have a different vocation then. Okay, let's see what else we can sell off of these guys. Stability Extract, Fulgurus Lord, Lantern, Fulgurus Lord times two, we can sell that. Wow, that thing's 525. Concoction of natural medicine fortified with magic. Drink it, reduces the chance of becoming afflicted with debilitations for a time. No, we're not going to sell that. We're going to keep that. So that's good. Copper ore, we can sell six of those, might as well. Beast skin. So I don't like selling a lot of this stuff. I like sticking it in storage because you can usually use them right out of storage when you're customizing or <clears throat> upgrading weapons. You don't have to go pick it up out of storage. You can just go to the blacksmith and if it's in your storage, yeah, sell that camera kit. Then you'll go ahead and use it. Sold all that. Did we enhance everything we could? Yeah, for the most part. Do we have anything new to buy? Not really. Okay. You spoke with the armorer. Now we're still gonna go do this quest, because that was like a little side quest to our main quest. Now. This is the land? All of this? Dude, that's crazy. What? I thought that was ocean, and this was the land. 
Telling me all this dark shit's the land? Oh, this place is huge, man. So I say we go out to this guy first. And then we'll hit the other two together. Let's rest at the end, give ourselves the best chance we can. It's gonna be very, very difficult. I imagine. I imagine. So there's two ways to rest and change the time of day. You can rest with that girl down there, or you can come up here and talk to this guy and rest. The girl down there is free, but she only changes it by a couple hours at a time. So you have to do it a few times. This guy, you can change it. A good sleep will ensure we are prepared for them. Why did I just do that? <laughs> Anyways, uh, this guy, you can change it directly to what you want it to be. <clears throat> That's why you need to talk and not make decisions the at the same time. The sun may have time. fallen, but the day is far from over. Talk. Step lively. Journey by Starlight shall make for a nice change of pace. Ready to forge on? Kinda. We're gonna do that again. Get to actually daytime. Good evening, sir. I trust you fared all right on the roads. Just ah, how I've longed to... uh, so well that I needed to rest again. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. After you, Arisen. Ah. Or after me. Where are the rest of the pawns at? Okay, they're coming. What are you doing? Mm, five things to do, if you don't mind. <laughs> Says the guy sitting there with his hands in his pocket. Don't tell me that. Master, if you're carrying around anything you don't need, there's no time like the present to rid yourself of it. Well, if you feel <clears> the burden, we've done all that. Mayhap I could carry some things for you. Sweet of you. You know, these guys are standing right in the way. Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. They can be most Man. convenient, though they only travel see that? during the day. There is no load screen. That's pretty cool. And we're just out into the fields. Now, we saw a griffin earlier out here somewhere. We gotta be careful. And I guarantee he's not too far away. The ingredients are plentiful <clears throat> hereabouts. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? My damn stamina is terrible. Even though I'm not very heavy. <clears throat> I'm heavy, but I'm not very heavy. Oh, other oxen, okay. Thought it was a bear. Flashbacks to the Bruin Bears in Elden Ring. I still don't remember how to quick key stuff. By your leave, Arisen. I think it's weird. It sounded mechanical when it was breathing out. Going the right way, even. Whoa! <laughs> She'll jump right off, man. Oh, look at that. Found a treasure chest. There's a little, little house right over there, too. Oh, is that a cave we can go in, maybe? Looks like you can walk all the way down there. For sure. 90 rift crystals. It's a nice little find. Take it. It's always something around the next bend. <clears throat> yeah, so I heard people are mad about the microtransactions in this game. I mean, whatever. I paid extra for the downloadable content, the extra weapons and stuff, that you can just find in the game. You didn't have to pay for them. I just thought it'd be cool to show everybody Hand in there, master. The, I'm coming to assist. the full package premium set. Um, and it, I didn't get it. <clears throat> and it even says it was installed, so whatever. No, I'm not mad about it. It just is what it is. But people have a problem with there being actual microtransactions in the game. Oh, we can't get up there. If we do, it's gonna be difficult. Very difficult. Which makes it not the right way. Huh. 
I'll get that for you. Oh, come on. We're so far up there. Look at her go. Dude, no way. Dude, that is crazy. That's one thing you could always do in Skyrim. Oh god. Just jump up the side of the mountain by doing some crazy jump shit. Right. Now I can't do it anymore. We'll do it again here on. There we go. Oh. I don't think I'm gonna get it again. That was a one time deal. Okay. This is not the way. It's no more or less than what one might have expected. We cannot expect gleaming treasures round every corner. Remind. Yep. Oh, there's a goblins right there. But there's some goblins right there. I won't say it's the goblins. Some mining can be done here. Okay. Secret's token. Oh, you guys know me and my tokens. I got a, a splendid discovery. Interesting. What do you think? I shall have to inform my own master of this. That's a horrible jump, guys. I'm so sorry. I thought I was going to make it close. I didn't make it halfway. Get up. Move arisen. Damn it. It's I let go of the well, stick and it still kind of moves one. a little bit. What are you trying to shock me? Reckon grapes. Okay, so we need to get on that side of the river and go that way, it looks like. There's goblins all over there. Ooh, what's this? Never mind. Here we go. Here we go. We got a little shortcut up here. Green warish. Oh, I guess not a shortcut. This takes us right to here. It's where we were. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so this is a dead end. We gotta go there, on the other side. This map is huge, guys. Holy smokes. We gotta go across that bridge. So it seems like we're caught <clears throat> in the good old endless tale where the dragon is reborn, and then the hero is reborn, and then the dragon dies, the hero dies, and then the other one's reborn again, and just it's an endless cycle. And I wonder where it all started. <clears throat> one thing they did that was smart in this game is they had to lose your memory, so you don't have to have all the answers right away. You can kind of put I it back together as you go. Curious thing. One of my former masters chose to hire only women. <laughs> I wonder why. Uh, You've given me much to think about. Yeah. Wonder why. The golden beetle. Hold fast, Arisen. Well, I will be with you in but a moment. Land oil, salubrious drought. Excellent. We'll take both those and use them. Oh, here we go. Got what? some action. Shame I've never advantage against this foe. Are we all in the same boat? Oh, look at that. Some bad dog. I'll encamp the same spell. We'll overwhelm our foe with our combined magics. Oh. Already out of stamina. Come on. Let's win back. Take that from 
That was well fought. There's no one standing Up. Okay, guys, we're gonna stop the episode right there. When we come back, we'll continue finding these goblins. I'm sure we're gonna fight them all the way down this road. We're not actually caravanning with this guy, we're just moving on our own pace, doing our own thing. He just happened to be here, too. So, anyways, let's pause it for running any more goblins because they're all over this spot. Look at how big this damn map is. That's insane. I'm just realizing the scope of this game. So. Thanks for watching. I'm Lucky. The channel's game on. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hunting goblins out here in the great wide of Vormund. Vermund? Yeah, anyways, loving it. See you guys.